I've been promising to do um, a lot of videos on the TradingView platform for lots of different reasons. Um, as many of you may know, come along regularly to the webinars uh, with Anna and myself. You know, we've been working uh, flat out on the TradingView indicators. We've got, some, uh, got the new ones coming along. Uh, we've now got the option to port those over with the Pine script. So it's very exciting. And hence the reason uh, we're going to be updating um, a lot of the indicators and doing a lot more videos on them. And this is the first one. TradingView is a fantastic platform. It's a great charting package. It's a great charting application. But the best thing about it all is because it's browser-based, it means that you can use it pretty much on any device you choose. So you're not bound to a device particularly. As I say, it's browser-based, very powerful, wonderful application. And also what's great about it is down the bottom here on the trading panel now, um, this is increasing all the time. You can link these accounts, these brokers, straight through to the uh, TradingView platform itself. And so you can actually trade off the chart. And it's, it's extremely intuitive. It's very simple, very powerful. The panel that comes up is, has got everything you need, all the stop losses, all the different order types and everything else. So it's fantastic. Really is very, very good indeed. So I thought I'd start off with, uh, we'd start with the currency strength indicator. And this is a great way to use the indicator across multiple time frames. I've got it here on the two minute. I've got the five minute in the middle here. And I've got the 10 minute over on the other side. And the currency strength indicator really does give you, it's that starting point where you identify the individual currencies, the individual building blocks, if you like, of the Forex world to identify the opportunities for you and to where uh, where you're going to go and look for those opportunities on the charts. It tells you which currencies are rising, which currencies are falling, whether that uh, move is strong or weak. It also tells you whether, whether the currencies themselves are moving together or whether they are diverging, which is absolutely crucial. Because what we're looking for all the time on the currency strength indicator is very simply, we are looking for opportunities such as we see here. This is the Aussie dollar in blue. This is the Swiss franc in green. Now at the moment on five minute, you can see the Swiss franc is falling quite strongly. The Aussie is rising quite strongly, as indeed is this gray line, the New Zealand dollar. That is also rising quite strongly. And that is one of the pairs, or certainly two of the pairs, that you're going to find the strongest trend in on that particular time frame, on five minute. So if you're a scalping trader, you don't need to be looking at a chart to appreciate that because we've got strong buying in the New Zealand, and we've got strong buying in the Aussie dollar, and we've got equally strong selling down here in the Swiss franc, then those would certainly be pairs that would be trending quite strongly at the moment in these very fast time frames. You can also see it over here down on the two minute, which is the fastest time frame I have here. The Aussie is now getting up into overbought territory. So it's right up at the top here. The New Zealand dollar equally has joined it. That is also there. And down at the bottom here, we've got the Swiss franc, which is just starting to, to find a little bit of buying coming in on that very fast time frame not quite got there in terms of the five minute. And certainly in terms of the 10 minute here, you can see the same process going on. We've got the Aussie and New Zealand rising very strongly, and we've got the Swiss franc falling strongly. So it all comes back to your time horizon. What is it you're trying to do? Are you a scal out and out scalping trader? Are you down at this end of the spectrum? Maybe faster, maybe on the one minute, maybe on, on trading view, you've got 15 second, 30 second type charts. So you can go sub one minute to really scalp pips out of the market pretty quickly. Alternatively, you may be up at this end of the spectrum, up at the 10 minute, you might have the 15 minute, maybe the 30 minute. And as far as you're concerned, what's going on over here is really not of huge interest unless this develops into reversal in trend. Now, the other thing about the indicator, first of all, use it in multiple time frames. However you use our indicators, it the same applies, the same sort of trading rules applies whether it is the indicators or the charts, use them in multiple time frames. The second thing that the currency strength indicator tells you is those uh, currency pairs, which are really of no interest at the moment. Why? Because the lines are all moving in the same direction. So for example, the red line is the dollar, probably easier over here. Now you can see it's falling with the yen. This uh, magenta line here is the Japanese yen. So the yen and the dollar 
I really fall it following one another around quite strongly here. You can see it. Therefore, on the dollar yen, there would be no trend at the moment. It would be in congestion, in other words. There might be a very minor trend, but that that strength of trend is not going to be reflected in that pair purely because the currency pair, the currencies themselves are moving in the same direction, and therefore there's no strong trend developing. The same is true of the euro. In fact, this orange line, you can see it here. So basically, we've got the yen, the dollar, and the euro all pretty much moving in alignment. So if you looked at any combination of those currency pairs, you really wouldn't see anything particular going on in terms of a tradable trend. You'd have to wait and be patient and wait for some strength to come back into one or both of those currencies before that trend will begin to develop. And what it also tells you, of course, the currency strength indicator tells you when currencies are up into overbought territory, right up the top here, past this 80 uh, area here, up into overbought or down into oversold. Now, how you use the indicator is up to you. If you, if you are like me, I am always looking for opportunities to trade from overbought to oversold and back again. Why? Because I want to get into the trend early. I don't mind being patient. I don't mind setting wider stop losses. That is, is, the, is the tactic that I take to market because I like to get into a trend early. You may be different. You may not like to take out on that sort of level of risk because in trading reversals, you have to put a wider stop loss in to allow for the congestion phases to, to buffer at the top and bottom. Because there's no guarantee that, for example, here we've got the New Zealand, we've got the Aussie. These may stay up here for a little while. Ultimately, they will reverse. They have to because this market is one of mean reversion. But you have to be patient. So trading reversals is great. You get in early. That's your payoff. You get a bigger, bigger payback. But the cost of getting in is higher because you have to set a wider stop loss. If you're jumping on an existing trend, for example, you might be looking at, uh, let's say, you know, the, the ones we were looking at earlier here, the New Zealand and the Aussie against the Swiss franc. There's a little bit of a way to go on there. Hopefully this will carry on higher still and the, and the Swiss franc will bottom out and further go deeper into oversold. So there is some trend strength still there. You might have got in at the cross down here when these two crossed. You saw this rising, this falling. You might have got in there. And so you've only taken advantage of this quite small area of or, or distance of the trend, whereas someone who's got in at the start of the, the reversal, in other words, trading off the extremes, is taking a much bigger chunk of that trend out of the market. But that's all down to your trading personality. It's your choice. So this is a real quick video on the currency strength indicator for trading viewers. As I say, fantastic platform, very powerful. You can trade all the markets on it. You can link your, your accounts through to it, which is great. So you can trade off the screen. And best of all, you can use it across any device. I'm actually running this on a Mac. I don't have to run, worry about running it in Windows. It's on a Mac and it's browser-based. So you know it's, it's the, your device which dictates what you want to use it on. And you're not tied to the Windows application environment. So it's just a terrific way to use the quantum indicators and to gain access to them on all the various devices in the market. Hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come. And uh, thanks for watching. See you again soon and bye for now.